Here is a cell cycle showing how much time each phase lasts, and it's variable depending on the cell type. And as you can see, mitosis and cytokinesis lasting one to two hours is the shortest period in the life of a cell. And then there are these other phases, G1, also referred to as GAP1, S standing for synthesis, and G2 standing for a second gap. The S standing for synthesis is the time in which DNA is replicated. Unique events occur during the phases, and let's take a look. In GAP1, cells grow very rapidly. Organelles will duplicate. Ribosomes will duplicate. Mitochondria will duplicate. If it's a plant cell, of course, chloroplasts will duplicate. Lysosomes. In other words, if you're going to grow a cell, you have to have in a larger cell proportionally as many components as you would in a smaller cell. The S phase is the period of DNA synthesis. It is the time during which chromosomes or chromatin is actually duplicated, which also means that not only is DNA doubled, but you have to double the number of histones, and you also have to double the number of non-histone proteins that previously covered essentially half of the chromatin. When cells that have differentiated divide, they have a memory of how they were being regulated so that a liver cell gives rise to more liver cells and doesn't suddenly become something peculiar. It is during the S phase that the appropriate proteins that are necessary to control gene expression are being made. In other words, the histone proteins and the non-histone proteins, which include transcription factors that control how a cell behaves. Finally, gap two is a period of additional growth, but also preparation for mitosis. You should remember a bit about what happens in mitosis. In prophase, the chromosomes condense. In metaphase, they line up at a metaphase plate. Between prophase and metaphase, a spindle fiber has formed. So in gap two, you might expect that the cell will begin to synthesize alpha and beta tubulins. If a cell is about to do something that requires microtubules, it should make more of them, shouldn't it? So in gap two, you might get microtubule growth. You will get the synthesis of proteins that form the kinetochore. You will get synthesis of proteins responsible for condensing chromatin into chromosomes. Name the process that characterizes a given stage, and the previous stage is going to be getting ready for that. That's, in summary, the events that occur in the different phases of the cell cycle.